Hello, my fashionista. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, I really appreciate you guys been following me and then uh, keeping up with me. I uh, guess is keeping up with Nadeji style. Um, uh, happy to be with you guys for the day. Um, today, actually, I'm gonna try to spend more time with you all. Why? Because I'm gonna try to show you a bunch of stuff that I receive for the rest of the year. Um, then hopefully in two years, you know, like in two weeks, this uh, 2020 will be out of the way because it's been uh, somehow a very troubling month, you know, year. Um, a lot of stress and, and what's been happening with the COVID and the pandemic and so forth. So everything that I have here um, is going to be different things. So bear with me, keep up with me, please, if you can. I appreciate the time you've given me. Uh, just even to turn in and watch me. I appreciate that. Um, I hope your holidays have been going well. Uh, today, I guess, anyway, let me see what we have here. As far as my outfit and everything is from uh, my boutique here at Citra Chic. And you all know that I like adding up a little touch of my style. Um, and of course, when I do my uh, um, fashion consulting, I try to allow my customers to give me an idea of what they're looking for because uh, my style might not be their style or might not be your style. We all have different style. We all love different colors, don't we? Um, today I have this, as you can see, uh, it has pockets actually, you know. I like being elegant and classy. I follow trends, but uh, from time to time. Uh, as I go over with my stuff, you will see that I have some things that are trendy, some things are very classic, things that you can keep in your closet. You don't have to necessarily wear it when time comes. So when you feel like it's time for you to wear it, then you can wear it and it is appropriate. That's always been me. Um, growing up, my mom, I watched my mom, and I think this end, you know, blog, I'm going to dedicate this to my mom. Um... My mom passed away decades, decades ago. I was very young when she passed. When I say very young, I was in 18 years old. Um, and today, when I think about her style and what she always is saying, that she follow your dreams, uh, do what pleases you. And, and she always said, Nadej, your sense of style, you should go to as a fashion. And she was those type of woman. She used to love watching Dallas, Dynasty, and I can tell you, all of that have instilled in me because that's very much who I am. Uh, growing up in Paris, my style is very retro, uh, from time to time, alternative, but yet chic and classic. Uh, that's me. And please, if you do allow me to show you, I do closet edits, you know, personal shopping, uh, like for my foreign, you know, clients, I want to do also translation because I speak a multiple language. So those are the blessings that uh, I have. Um, but uh, today, because of uh, just my mom, um, I wanted to look elegant. Um, my pants are the high waist. I will actually show you. My shoes. You all know I love shoes. So <laughs> Look at my shoes. Look at the heel. I mean, turquoise with my jacket. I know many of you might not have thought of this, but this is just, if you see me, you're like, oh, wow, look at you. But this will be something that I will want, you know, if I'm going out or whatever the case may be. And I just add my little touch to him. I have my Chanel brooch, you know, and what do you think? You know, isn't it nice? Nice, comfy, but yet classy, you know? Yeah. But anyway, let's move over to talk about things that I have. Sorry, I noticed that my carpet been pink on me, so let's do this. Just my bag, my tablet. So what I have here, um, a lot of pieces of more, as you can see, light colors. Yes, it's fall, but fall can be mixed with the, like darker colors, all mixed to have a better look. Um, like here, I have this. Uh, lace as you can see it's a blouse 
But when I have like a skirt that you can pair with, and over here you will see that I have, uh, I don't know if you can see very well, but I have a lot of boots that I just put there to kind of showcase. Like here, if I did something like this, so I will have more booties that are in clean. Hopefully you can see. And this skirt, I should have actually brought the mannequin out so I can show you exactly what I'm talking about. But this is, I'll just go like this. Look what the skirt is. The skirt is open on this stuff. So we hold them both. But this is the skirt. The look. So for fall, it's very nice. And then of course, if you have a nice coat, you know, over it, you will also be appropriate. So that's one of them. Let's put just the boots on this side. That's okay. That's okay. And I have this. This top here is very unique. I'll tell you why. Let me show you all of this. Let's put the thing there. Okay. You see how it opens up? But it's buttons. Look, buttons on the side. So it's all buttons on the side. So you can choose to button it. Or the front. Or tie it up like that um that's another way to wear it you know look look at the back so is a button on the side button on the side <laughs> the back and the front it is a very cool um top since i love wide leg <laughs> pants i probably would wear this uh just with wide legs Tie it up in the front. Look how elegant it looks. It's just different. Different, different. Okay, everything I'm showing you just different blouses that I have here. This is just a satin blouse. You know, pretty basic. But something that you can have in your closet. If you have a nice bottom for it and a quick match, you're good to go. So you can make it office wear. And also just for a nice cocktail out and casual out a little bit you know this is one of them okay and i have another blouse some of you will follow me on instagram i've been taking a lot of pictures with some of my pieces where you can just see how i match it up with different skirts very nice and elegant again just one of the basic and this one of course have top sleeves mm -hmm. And this here is one of my lapel shirts. Very nice. This is a very unique looking piece. And I have had actually a few pieces, like pictures with it. See, buttons all the way and the button up all the way. It's very lapel. Look at the color. No, nice. And, uh, so this pants here is uh, what I have here. You see, it's high waisted. So you can, uh, again, you can't really see it on me like that because I have the jacket over it, but this is how it is. And then the back, the back have elastics on it. And it comes with its own, of course, um, belt, I would call it. Matching uh, belt. And of course, since it's winter, I wanted to throw in a, one of the sweaters that I have also in this collection. Again, appropriate for the season. You can go on with having a off-white, you know, turtleneck in your closet. Very nice. And then all of these, of course, I do have uh, uh, twenty percent. Um, there is there is a sale in the website, but of course there is an extra, you know, twenty percent for first-time shoppers. Uh, so please look me up at citrechic.net. See everything that I have there. I'm sure you will find something. Please. Go look um, and see what you want to get. The pieces sometimes is only one or two pieces, so they do go pretty quickly. So look around and let me know. Shoot me. We do have a live chat during the you know opening hours. So if you wanted to just chat with me, ask me questions about my other services that I do offer, it would be my pleasure to answer. But look at this. This is cool. Look. 
is a cut out blouse again no pretty nice yeah I think I showcased this before but let's look at it again since it's a white one it comes in with a skirt but again look it's a different front I'm gonna show you the skirt because it comes with a skirt. Yeah. I've talked about this before, but this is a really unique skirt. Yeah, that. You see? There goes the side way. Something like this, maybe like with my Fendi style um, boot. Look at that. In the match, nice. I'll just put it together. I told you guys I love I love fashion. Uh, it's in my DNA. I, I, I'm not gonna lie. It's a, people who know me, uh, it's a funny with social media. I have reconnected with some of my uh, um, old, you know, school friends, and of course we all now wives, mothers, and whatever. But uh, um, many of them say the days you never change. I've always been the same. So whatever was a stamp in your future. It cannot be tempered by human beings. You know, you get to meet people in your life. Um, when I talk about co-workers, acquaintances, a friend or family member, anybody who feel like they can change your future or what God put you here to do, they're wrong. Because when God puts something, if it was meant to be yours, guess what? Nobody can change that. And like in this... Yeah, so... Um, what happening with uh, um, like the fashion industry and the blogging and uh, social media and so forth um, it is a very competitive you know market but guess what uh, I'm gonna tell you guys something very funny <laughs> I'm sure some of you will relate if you met somebody uh, that would happen to be like a stylist, like myself. And then uh, you met me in the same industry and you start doing the same thing. There is no competition. Because the last time I checked, guess what? If I'm driving and I feel like eating McDonald's and next door there is a Burger King, that's my, cho my preference, it's my choice, eh? isn't it? So just because you know somebody who like this and who do that, maybe that's what you like. And that's like what you like to do. It's like doctors. If there was only one doctor in the world, wow, can you imagine like with a pandemic, what will happen? That poor doctor will be in pass out to himself. Yeah? Swamp. So the career and the industry is full of people. We all have desires or things that God put us on this earth to do and cannot be tempered or changed by any human being. Let's stop hating on each other being mean to each other, empower each other, if anything, you know. Um, exercise on social media, and this is for my young folks, you know. Um, don't let social media control your life. If you want to do something, work on it. Work towards that goal and see what happens. Like, now the year going to change? Guess what? What is your end of the year goals? What would you like to do for this, the, the beginning of this year coming? God's willing if we're still here, you know. Uh, with, with the pandemic, you don't know what's going to happen. But anyway, but those are the things that I wanted to throw in just to talk about how human beings are. Yeah? Stop being jealous of each other, envious of each other. Oh, this person have that. Well, guess what? You can work towards that and have the same thing. After all, it's all material things. We die and we leave all behind. But uh, at the same time, if that's what you want to do, that's what will make you happy. Don't let another human tell you that you cannot do it or you cannot make it or because they're doing it and you can't do it. Guess what? Let's keep moving. That's just how it is. That's life. Because when you put a clear path into your own path, guess what? Things work out better. But when you like doing negative things against each other or other people, it blocks all your blessings. Trust me, it does. You know, God wants to bless you, so don't put that barrier there. And don't worry about those people who maybe don't appreciate you, who don't support you. Be your first 
supporter and be the sculpture of yourself and your future. I'm telling you. But anyway, let's continue doing what we're doing. But I wanted to throw that little motivational talk out there because I understand that uh, a lot of us go to some things. Um, I'm an immigrant. I um, came to America, we're talking about close to 30 years now. I still have my accent. Is uh, the beginning, like uh, my first years in this country, I struggle with that because everywhere I went, the moment I opened my mouth, people used to always point out, oh, your accent. And it made it sound like it's a bad thing. But you know, over the years, I came to realize what? Today, I'm so blessed. Look what I'm doing today. I have a label, clothing label that is. All of the clothes I'm wearing is my own clothes. I have always loved fashion. And I didn't want nobody to change that for me. And I didn't want nobody to change that mindset. My self-confident, how I felt about myself. Um, so what I did, I kind of did therapy between my own self and said, listen, my accent makes me very unique. I don't want to be just everybody else. So when I speak, you can see that I'm very unique. Yes, I've been in America a long time. I still have my accent. But when I look just like every America is such a diverse place, I don't want to be mixing. It makes me unique. It makes me who I am, Nadej Ngongo. And nobody can change that. I think if my parents were still living, both of them are gone, God bless their souls. If they both were still here and then are trying to speak a certain way and maybe like a more American and I wasn't born here. And I'm, I'm telling the truth now. I mean, I understand somebody else can relate to this blog today and then I'm speaking from the bottom of my heart. So stop being and criticizing people or you speak a certain way. Even the people here in America speak a certain way. They're from the south, from the north, from the west, from the east, wherever part. But guess what? We all won. We all won. And what makes us unique is uh, the little bit of that, like my culture, my accent that I still kept. That's what the little part of me is with me here in America. I was born in the Congo, Central Africa. I'm African. Born in Africa naturalized here in America and like many of us here in this country. So my accent at this point empowers me because when I speak, people listen because they're inquisitive to find out where my accent's from. I'm sure if you're watching this video today, drop me a message, what do you think if I'm not telling the truth? Huh? My accent, when I speak, it makes you inquisitive to find out where I come from. So. Please, let's not actually worry about what other people are saying. The sky is the limit. America is a world of possibility, and I can actually vouch for that. I'm a testimony of that. So I came here, I spoke a little English. French is my first language. I speak many languages. I speak Swahili, Lingala, you name it. I speak Lari. But I grew to learn something because this is where I'm, this is kind of my second home. My kids were born here. I live here for many years. I'm a citizen of this country. So, this is me. I'm a small world in that this one woman. Yeah? So, let's keep it positive, please. And let's empower each other. Let's stop the foolishness of the nonsense and being mean to each other. It's unnecessary. Okay? That one man above is the one that decided he's the father of all of us. No matter how you praise him, no matter religion, what religion we're praising that one God. So let's actually, if you want to ask, it's like your father, and you want to ask something to your father, say, Father, please, as I walk this journey, work with me. If you say it in different language, trust me, it's that one man that we all praise him. Okay? So again, another motivational talk. But, um, I did warn you guys that I was going to be doing a lot of talking on this video, so I appreciate the time you're taking. So, but anyway, back to my clothes. Um, so this is another piece. This actually is a sweater turtleneck. Yes, yes, sweater turtleneck. And this here can actually go well with uh, um, like a high... I do have like knee-high boots. Look at that. So you can wear with uh, knee-high. 
I think it will look very nice. Mm -hmm. Again, everything, all the boots are put here just to give you guys an idea how you can wear the stuff. Okay? And then I have a little, I call it like a Dior style. Yeah. This is a Dior print, but it comes with a little belt. Mm -hmm. A little doll dress. Very nice. That's it here. This skirt actually is nice. I saw it on the runway, but again, it's a Dior style. You can actually pair with the nice uh, <laughs> combat boots. For those of you that follow me on Instagram, you probably see me. I've been working them lately. Because it's a Dior style. Very nice. You know, maxi skirt, combat boots, alternative, very retro. Um, and then what I do. My consultation is always free, so if you drop me even a message or you just have a question, please don't hesitate, just ask. Um, and then I can tell you, you know. So I showed you this blouse last time. Also, have all the colors that I put here is more fall appropriate. I mean, I have a lot more things I'm gonna show you guys to this video, please. So bear with me. Um, and of course, you have this dress again. Either the booties or high, you know, knee high boots. Really nice. Um, this we do have it actually in uh, white. Um, I like them because the puff sleeves, but very cute. You can either wear with the pants, jeans, or skirts, whichever one you really like. And then, of course, I have a trench coat. So you have a trench coat, very appropriate um, for the season. On the back is a trench coat. Those of you who know. Let's see. Nice. Not much left on this one, so. This is another doll dress, but this can actually tie. No, it's in the front. Yeah, this is the things that you can just wear with the knee high. Very nice. And appropriate for the season is a, uh, you know, is a blue. What's the color of that? And here, <laughs> I love this dress because I like show showing you guys this dress because look at the dress. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I have some denims. I do have other denims. Um, I always feel like it's hard sometimes to really fit jeans. You know, this one is high waisted. Uh, okay, it's supposed to be my boyfriend jeans. Very nice. They're available on my website. And, uh, they fit a little funny, so meaning like they fit smaller. So if you a size medium, you take a large. If your size is like extra large, you take it to X, just because they cut small. Um, okay, look at this. And I think this is a very unique piece. I should actually wear it, but. So this one here is the denim one. So it has a big bow, really nice. The sleeves have a zipper. And this zipper you can actually open it. You know, look. It's a pink, but look at the back. So the back. It's a zipper. Okay, it just zips. But the front is very nice. Look at it. It's a statement jean jacket. So again, for those of you who like unique, it's very unique. I do have a lot of carry a lot of unique pieces in my boutique. So go take a look and you will see. And this is just another tool skirt, flat, and you can pair with any of those, like maybe that turtleneck. Yeah, with the turtleneck, if I'm you, I pair with those uh, combat boots. That's a start. Very cute. Anyway, so this is the song. I'm gonna move over to another, like a set of colors. So I can show you guys the mixture. 
sometimes you can mix the things but this is here more like the blues why you know white and so forth okay and this stuff so this one here is the denim one so it has a big bow really nice the sleeves have a zipper and this zipper you can actually open it you know look it's a thick but look at the back so the back it's a zipper okay it just zips but the front is very nice okay it's a statement jean jacket so again for those of you who like unique it's very unique i do have a lot of carry a lot of unique pieces in my boutique so go take a look and you will see and this is just another tool skirt flat and you can pair with any of those like maybe that turtleneck yeah with the turtleneck from you a pair with those uh, combat boots that's a start very cute anyway so this is the song i'm gonna move over to another like a set of colors so i can show you guys the mixture sometimes you can mix things but this is here more like the blues why you know why